Jared's fishing adventure. Today we are in upstate, like southern tier-ish New York. Um, we are south of do 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 uh, whatever park name I'm forgetting, and we are on a tributary of the Genesee River. As you can tell, anything deeper than like four inches is impossible to see. But this is exactly why we fish creeks around us, even though I've had all the species for a while. That's why we still fish them in bad conditions, so we kind of learn how to deal with situations like this. So today, what I'm gonna be doing is um, working like smaller pockets uh, behind riffles, anything with a current break, I'm gonna be looking for any of this main current, pretty much a no-go, unless I see something moving. So we're gonna be really looking for habitat rather than fish um, that they might be holed up in these high waters. A lot of this mud is actually from ice melt. So, oh, there's fish. So it's not really like the water is higher than normal. It's just, oh, that's, yeah, it's a dace. I think it's a dace. All right, I'll finish that statement in a second. Yeah, but anyway, ice melts along with the ground. It just pulls in a lot of silt and uh, like detritus and just dead matter um, that cloudies the water. This happens every single year here. It happens in New Jersey, but to a much lesser extent. A lot of our high and muddy waters are due to rainfall instead of ice melt. Yeah, since we are in the Genesee Basin, this is actually home, the, uh, the easternmost point in New York, where black-nosed dace are the western version. So the goal for tonight is to catch some dace. There are some long nose and some black nose sampled from here. Western, I would really like a photo upgrade because I've caught them from the lower, not the lower, uh, yeah, it would be the lower, but the more north portion of Genesee um, where they overlap with eastern. Some weird glacial events have happened in New York where western and eastern black-nosed dace coexist in some creeks. So there's not really a good way to tell them apart, so I'm not sure if I've caught a western before. But here, this is, oh, there he is, okay. This is a very upstream tributary, and the only ones sampled from here have been western black-nosed dace. So I'm not gonna get that in his face. I don't know if this is a sucker or a dace. Probably a dace. It looks like he has a sucker mouth. Uh, he really doesn't like this headland, so we're gonna try to find another one. It's very promising that we found one already. Oh, yeah, there's another one. I gotta turn this down to a lower setting. Oh, got him. What is it? What is it? Is this what we wanted? Uh, I actually believe so. It looks like we got our target species uh, within 10 minutes of being here. I'm going to get the photo tank out real quick. All right, you guys. We do indeed have a black-nosed dace. Long nose will have a much longer and pointier snout, even on juveniles. That being said, uh, Western and Eastern black-nosed dace are impossible to identify based on morphological traits. Um, you really need a sample of DNA. There are some ID guides that actually kind of differentiate them by either their lined or blotchy pattern or even their fins. That was all disproven recently in a study that was done where they overlap and range in Canada where they took 250 samples and recorded some morphological traits along with their DNA. Um, and really prove that you cannot tell the difference based on anything you can see. You really need a, a genetic test on them. Um, that being said, what a cool fish. The black-nosed dace is in the Rhinichthys genus, which translates to riffle dace, <laughs> which is exactly where we found this. We found this in the riffles, and now I guess the goal of the night is to catch either a bigger one or a long-nosed dace. Either way, what a cool find. All right, let's get him back. Alright guys, fish number one of the night, Western Black Nose Dace, from the tributary of the Genesee. See you, bud. Alright, well that was an awesome way to start the video. 
Um, I did not expect to catch one so fast. I thought this water was gonna prove to be a little bit more of a challenge. Now that that's out of the way, let's catch some more dace, see if we can find a long nose um, or another species. There are sculpins. Ooh, what is that? Is it a blunt nose? There are other species of dace in here, um, along with sculpins, which either of those would be very cool catches. The sculpins won't be lifers. Ooh, and this is all still frozen. Oh, that's kind of beat. I was really hoping the side pool would produce something. Very sandy. Oh, yeah, and mucky, apparently. All right, that downstream area kind of just gets, uh, kind of just gets sandy, and there wasn't any fish besides what I think was a juvenile blunt-nosed minnow. Um, but he would not budge. Wasn't really going for it. Oh. That's a little, oh, it's a sculpin. It's a tiny one. Oh my God, he's so small. All right, I definitely have to downsize the bait for this. It's so small. It is a sculpin though, I'll tell you that much. I think in here there's either the potential of a slimy or a mottled. All right guys, this is what we've downsized the bait to, literally just covering the hook point. It's a very small sculpin. The sculpins have very very large mouths in comparison to their body size, but they are these ones are just not big. So hopefully we can hook them. Oh, there he is right there, right on cue. Unless that's a, I think that's a different one. It's got to be different. Oh, I, oh my God! I think he bit it. Saw bait? Yeah, I saw bait. I think he bit it too. Yeah, yeah, get closer to him. Oh, got him. Yes, yes. In the mouth, too. Look at that. Look at that. Look how small he is. <laughs> Holy cow. That is a tiny sculpin. Look at that. That is unreal. All right, guys. Here is our little sculpin. What an awesome little fish. He was so aggressive, too. I scared him twice by moving closer, and he bit very aggressively anyway. What a cool fish. He's got an awesome pattern for being so small. All right. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to differentiate the model versus slimy, I think it has to do with pelvic fin rays, like three versus four. So I'm gonna take a shot of that. Again, not sure if I'm able to differentiate something this small. But what a cool fish. All right, I'll get some picks and then we'll get a release. All right guys, I think I got good enough pictures, but man, what a tiny sculpin. I'm just gonna let him drift back down to the bottom there. Guys, look, there was another one that came out and inspected him once he, uh, once he got down there. That one's a little bigger. Maybe we should catch him, too. Alright, even though we are close to the headwaters of the Genesee, I did not expect there to be an abundance of sculpins. So, let's, let's drop the Tanago down here. Oh, wow, he's already biting. Missed it, missed it. Got him. <laughs> Another one. What a cool fish. Oh my gosh. Maybe the third species, maybe the second. All right, guys. <laughs> my hand's shaking. It's so cold. Second sculpin of the night. I'm not sure if it's a different species or not. They're both so small. It's impossible to tell. I'll check the pictures later and give you an update if I see anything. But man, what a cool fish. They kind of just hang out in the rocks like that. Unless I see a bigger sculpin, I am not going for it. Um, just because that water, oh my God, another one. Look at that, another sculpin. They're everywhere here. All right guys, we're gonna go uh, a few steps downstream, see if there's anything following this little side pool that's covered in ice. Um, yeah, just see if we can find anything. Spend a lot of time positioning the worm just for him to not want it. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, that looks good over there, but I'm not sure how deep I'm able to, oh, oh, a salamander. All right, guys, I just spotted this salamander, which is likely a northern two-line, but I'm not really quite sure. 
Wow, he's got some nice yellow on that tail. Look at him go. I'm gonna take a pick. Awesome little salamander there. All right, oh, nice. We're in some riffles again. Oh, another side pool. This one's got a little bit of moving water though. So hopefully we're better off on this one. Man, I wish this creek was a little bit clearer. This is the last one I'm gonna check and then we're gonna dip. All right, this could potentially be a spot to try in the summer, I think, would be the actual move. Oh, darter, quarter. Interesting. Tessellated, maybe? I'm not quite sure. Oh, maybe rainbow. It's the bland rainbow. All right, I'm about 90% sure bland rainbow. All right, guys. Here we have what I believe is a rainbow darter. Honestly, I knew there were darters in this creek, but I did not expect any to show up tonight. The water is freezing and this one ate pretty readily i hope i got it on camera but yeah he was he was feisty within about 10 seconds of targeting him he bit and then bit again and i connected so thanks for playing bud that's my first uh rainbow darter of the year i think only my second species of darter for the year besides that i'm pretty sure i've only gotten tessellated a cool fish oh yeah that's definitely a rainbow Look at him go. All right, just got some photos. We're gonna let our little rainbow darter boy go. See you, bud. Have a good rest of your winter. Yeah, this water is freezing cold. It's getting late. Um, I think it's time to pack it in and head home. But the, uh, yeah, results of the day were pretty good. We. Um, we got the objective, which was to catch a western black nose dace, and we also got super lucky and found a, like a batch of little tiny sculptins. I took some pictures of them, still haven't ID'd them. I took some good shots of the pelvic fin rays, because I believe that is how you differentiate mottled versus slimy. It's the same with like the Blue Ridge versus the Potomac in, uh, in some cases. Um, but I believe the rule of thumb with mottled and slimy is also related to the pelvic fin ray. So I took some good shots of those. Obviously those, <laughs> those sculpts are tiny. So hopefully we'll be able to ID them. If not, unknown CODIS, not that big of a deal. And then we also got a little rainbow darter, which was an awesome surprise. I did not expect to see a darter tonight. It was only the one that we saw and he bit very readily. So <laughs> good on you, rainbow darter. All right, but anyways, yeah, catch you on the next Dirty Jersey Fishing Adventure. <laughs>